Give me a thumbs up. Right. Do Don't wink at me. Today we have a story on the new Devil May Cry game. Stand so up for graduate early graduation. Like December of and next a new year, episode of Seaman Reacts. <laughs> I'm Ethan and I'm Cody and this is your daily news recently the newest entry in the Devil May Cry series was released so let's see how much has changed Devil May Cry 5 came out on March 8th 2019 as the next mainline entry in the Devil May Cry series for the PS4 and Xbox one but what is Devil May Cry really awesome I mean motorcycle chainsaw swords where can you go wrong? Devil May Cry started out on the PS2, released August 23rd of 2001 by Capcom. 18 years later, Devil May Cry 5 came out, with three different playable characters, Nero, Dante, and the new character V, all with their own unique styles of fighting. Uh, Nero has more of a grab mechanic that I remember from 4. Dante has different stances, and the, the woman, she uses more ranged attacks if i remember right each character has their own unique battle theme and the better you do in battle which is shown by your rank on the side the more the music is boosted to where it goes from this to this Five definitely looks really good. If you're really just going for looks of the game, go into five. With flashy but fun combat, music that boosts the hype, the better you play, and multiple playable characters to keep things from getting stale, Devil May Cry 5 lives up to the hype it promised. Tony Kaiser, SVTV. That was cool. Now for announcements. Outside Dame forums are going to be available Wednesday, March 27th. Make sure you get one if your date is not from Seaman or is a sophomore or freshman. Afterglow tickets will be on sale before school and during lunches, April 1st through April 5th. The Sunrise Optimus Endowment Association will offer three $500 scholarships to Seaman High School seniors this year. Applications should be returned to Mrs. Ross in the counseling office. Application deadline is Friday, April 12th. Students interested in traveling to Spain in June 2020 should sign up outside of W20 by Friday. This trip is open to current freshmen through seniors. Legally Blonde, the musical performance is this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Tickets are $8 and the show starts at 7. Break of Legs are also available during lunch Tuesday through Friday. Individual messages are $1 and the whole cast and crew are 5 Allie went to talk with Mr. Alexander about who, juniors who would like to graduate early. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alex to talk about early graduation. So what do students need to know? Well, we had a meeting for uh, those juniors that want to graduate by December of next year. We had that before spring break, and um, I gave them the information about the letters they need. Some of them have handed those in, and we've, you know, I've kind of proofread them and hand them back. So I just needed all the juniors that are applying for early graduation to have their letter and their parent letter in by Thursday. Okay, awesome. Make sure and turn those letters in. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to turn in your letters. Now over the sports after these commercials. Take the witness into custody where she will be charged for the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. In the matter of the state versus Brooke Wyndham, this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go. Everyone's seen Legally Blonde in the movie, but now you can see it live at your Seaman High School theater. The theater department has been working hard to get the musical ready. Legally Blonde the musical will be playing at 7 p.m. from March 28th to March 30th. Tickets will be sold at the doors and lunch for $8. International Thespian Society is selling curtain call messages all next week during lunches. It's only $1 for you to wish your friend on the cast or crew good luck. For $5, you can make a message for the whole cast. The musical is March 28th through the 30th. Don't forget to tell your favorite cast members to break a leg with one of these messages. Oh my God, oh my God, you guys. Like 
There's a volleyball informational parent meeting on April 11th in the Commons at 6 p.m. Those interested in trying out for the auxiliary band dance team can learn more during activity period on April 3rd. Trial packets can be picked up in W12 or in the office. There'll be a mandatory VICAT informational meeting for all students who would like to participate in VICATs. The meeting will be on March 27th at 7 a.m. in the multi-purpose room. Please bring your informational packet with you. Now over to Josh to see what the weather is like this week. Good afternoon to you. Let's take a look at your weather headlines throughout the next several days. Tomorrow, it's going to be very windy and much warmer. And then rain and storms returning to the forecast by the end of the week. That's Thursday and Friday. But the weekend is looking quite a bit cooler with highs back down into the 40s and 50s. But first things first, for tomorrow, you see these shades of yellow and orange on this map? That's wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. So it's going to be a very gusty day for your Wednesday. And then we start talking about the rain chance. So here's Thursday morning. Should be dry across the area, but you'll see as we progress this toward the early afternoon hours, some storms starting to move in from the west that could provide locally heavy rainfall at times throughout your Thursday. And then another round of rain on the way for Friday. This probably going to be less in the way of lightning and thunder, but still some rain, a possibility for the final day of the school week. And checking out the seven day forecast, you can see that we do have a slight chance for this rain to mix with or change over to snow Friday night as our temperatures are in the middle 30s. None of this is expected to accumulate. Then there's the weekend highs around 47 and perhaps slightly warmer by next Monday. Now, Ethan and Cody, back to you. We have a new segment of Seaman Reacts reacting to the famous app, TikTok. Let's go see more. Okay. What's up? I'm Kyle, 19, and I'm just looking for a girl I can laugh with, you know? I actually hate funny? myself for even smiling at that. Was it supposed to be funny? I don't know that I would laugh with him. <laughs> I don't think he's that funny. Hi guys, welcome to my ASMR channel. I don't have a real mic, so I'm just gonna use my headphones. First, we're gonna start with some tapping. Now it's time for some gentle breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know, that was good though. <laughs> I hate ASMR. What is ASMR? It's when people whisper and do stupid loud, like loud chewing, like. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Sounds like I'm singing it. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shit. That was really cringy. That made me chuckle. I got a smirk out of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. I was really excited for the song and the fact that they couldn't sing it made it even better. TikTok's dumb. That was my first TikTok ever. Really? Those were my first TikToks ever. Those are just stupid. It's just like a cringy middle school thing. I thought that the last one was really funny. Yeah. I'm, I'm just mad that it got a smirk out of me. The this, others were in. Yeah. The second one was... Was I okay. The was first like, one was not good. Mm -mm. He needs to try again. They were a little bit intriguing. Cody, do you like TikTok? No, it's not really my thing. Well, I love it. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we have information for the wrestling fundraiser. And something about bracketology. See you later, Vikes. Mm -hmm.